He was suspended for saying the word pimping in class because it was an inappropriate word at that time. Uh, upon meeting with the principal uh, at that time, actually, actually I think it may have been the vice principal, uh -huh. no, what no, he said was... Yeah, okay, now uh, who, who determines these things? You know, the teacher complained. And, ah. and now, what is it, a few years later, this teacher is using that word and it's okay. At yeah. the time, he was taken out of school for three days for it. But the principal proceeded to tell me that he had black friends and that he understood how I, we felt about it and why I was so upset. And that, you know, he understood um, that things were different, but, you know, pimping was just not a word. And I explained to him that it wasn't that, you know, my, my son was was putting someone on the street or, you know, it was, it was an okay word, mm -hmm. you know, and something's how old bad, was he, good. you know? Gosh, at that time he must have been, um, 11 or 12 years old. Okay. 11 or 12 years old at that time. Mm -hmm. And it, I mean, it was purely harmless. It wasn't anything that was out of sorts. Um, but he was suspended for saying the word pimping. Mm -hmm. uh, there was no other stance behind it. And the explanation for what I felt was, um, racially motivated was that, well, you know, that cannot be the case. That's mm -hmm. definitely not the case because I have black friends and, and I go to a black church occasionally and I know that, um, you know, I like you people is kind of what he said. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. In, in essence, that's pretty much what he said. <laughs> I like you people like well, we are our, um, a color or, or something, you know, that, that yeah, it goes like, back to the joke of, well, what kind of Kool-Aid do you like? Well, Red. I just want red Kool-Aid. Yeah. Um, you know, so uh, let me interject here. Now, was this uh, a time? Was do you think was this before or after um, uh, one of your daughters actually got to start a hip hop club in school? Remember? Actually, that was before. before. That was before. But you know, that brings to mind the same thing. Olympia High School. Uh, yeah, they had a play, and I don't know the exact wording of the play, but it was another one of my supersized complaints because they have. Um, they have a few things that make people of color um, very uncomfortable. One of the things is that, you know, they do it in all schools, but they read the, you know, Tom Sawyer and, and some other different books that are approved and they're perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. But when you have one child that's, you know, that's uh, black in the class and, you know, the nigger this and nigger that and this, that, and everyone's like, oh, you're the one, yeah, you know, and they're can looking say, at it. Yeah, we can, we can, can, say, that. We can yeah. say that and it's okay. Um, but they had a play, and I don't remember what the play was about, but I know that it had something to do with uh, a turkey. And one of the lines in the play was that the white on the turkey um, was good, and the dark meat was ignorant. And for me, that was racially motivated. It had no, yeah. it had no place in the play. So of course, you know, I called the school and and I talked to them about it because you know the kids feel uncomfortable and they they talk to me about it. Um, latest instance. I had a child on a bus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's get to oh. the name of the show is back to the back of the bus. We'll get to the bus in a minute here. Now, what what I want to determine here, <laughs> maybe they felt guilty and let her do the hip hop, the hip hop club because they were so ugly. Huh? You know, I don't know, and it's quite possible because what you find is they're you know they step on on different territories uh, yeah. and then they realize, oops, oops uh, maybe yeah. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah. Uh, and the kids, you know, they've, they've adjusted. They've got, you know, they've got some props being the kids of color in school. There's quite a few yeah. now, but they go through the school and it's like, whoa, stay away from them. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, they have the, the stereotypical, they're bad. And, and they're bad in a way that they're going to they're gonna whoop me down. Um, you know, and that's not the way yeah. it is. Everybody's, you know, everybody's kind of the same in a sense. And they should no, be treated no. the same. So Our family, by the way, is, is the United Nations when you can't. We come to a party. We are from everywhere. So. Oh, 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 from, oh, yeah. Yeah, we yeah, from come from one end to the other. And um, yeah. we are open-handedly. Open-handedly, everyone. We come from, and, we come from everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, and everyone has, there's a, a universal sense of respect mm -hmm. and uh, a cultural sense of respect. It's, mm -hmm. it's all the same, you know. And I think everybody, if everybody could just kind of get along and, mm -hmm. you know, agree that, you know, you can, can we do, all get along? Yeah, exactly. Can we all get along? Yeah. You can say... And yeah. we do for the most part. Yeah. I mean, yeah, there's all do. kinds of foods, mm -hmm. there's all kinds of music, there's all kinds of different yeah. things, and and everything's okay. It's okay. I don't have I don't have to like your music if I don't want to. Yeah, I don't like yours either. So I don't fun. have to like your books <laughs> if I don't want to. Um, mm -hmm. And it's true. It's okay. You know, I don't yeah. like it. You like yours. Okay, I like mine too. So, 
it, it's okay. Everybody, we have... One of the things, uh, it, now for my part of the family, um, we've always been real diverse. Mm -hmm. one, of, one of the things that, that I like about the way we do things as a family um, is that we let everybody express themselves in the matter that they want to. Mm -hmm. In other words, uh, uh, we if we if there, if there's a, a person from another culture, we don't ha we don't feel like oh I, we can't look this way or we can't do that way. Do that it's a relaxed way. atmosphere. We say here, this is who we are. This is where you at. Now let's do it. Mm -hmm. And so each each person, regardless of who it is, we can always feel free to relate in the matter we're used to the way we think, and we don't. Sometimes we don't agree, but it, it's a mutual. This is who we are. We are of mixed cultures, and it works. What do you say? Well, you know, I think I think that's right because when you look at the different cultures that we have within the family and outside of the family, coming into the family, yeah. um, everybody's different. United and, Nations. You yeah. know, and and we can step together and enjoy each other, whether mm -hmm. it's um, you know, it's it's a matter of trying new things and just getting along. Yeah. It, you know, and like you said, agree to disagree. Yeah. Is. Um, Hey, that's the way of the world. That's the way it should be. That's the way it should be. I think that. Um, I think that's the way it should be. So, so get so getting back to the to the child. Um, he got suspended because he said pimping. Is that what we're? Because he said the word pimping. pimping yeah. Pimping. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, speaking of pimping, stereotype. I found a really. I don't know if I can do this from here. Look at this picture. I found. Here, uh, it's for my eyes have seen the glory bearing witness to the struggle of the Civil Rights Act now when a person is dressed like that that's usually the associate that with a pimp even though right it had nothing to do with it yeah and now you know now you see rappers with their bling on and mm -hmm. all of that and you know they're stereotypical they automatically assume but you know and that's, that's a he's very nice dressed yes he is he's very nice dressed he's clean cut but back when this was taken which was he probably in the 70s he, he would like have a been pimp. He uh -huh. would have been deemed as a pimp, yeah. not just the hat, but his yeah, look jewelry. At the ring, yeah. His jewelry, and now you know that's that's okay. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, we've come a little bit of a ways because now mm -hmm. they would just say, well, you know, he's he's stuck in time a little bit, but he looks good. He looks good, right? Yeah, exactly. yeah he does. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, it, you know, we have come a long ways. They have come a long ways, and. And with us, it's different because you know you're of color, but you you are really a light color, a little and light so color. so it's very confusing sometimes. A <laughs> little bit of vanilla there, <laughs> but and it is really confusing. But it's okay. Yeah. You know, it's okay. Everyone walks in and they're like, "Yeah, that's my mama." Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm 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 glad. You know, I'm glad now when you now when I go to the school where my kids were the only brown ones, mm -hmm. there is probably every type of culture you can find in the school, mm -hmm. which is really nice. And and I don't feel like they're treated very differently there. I mean, occasionally there is, you know, one or two people who are still stuck in generational stuff. And uh, it's going to be a long time before we can get past the whole racism thing because it's it's passed generation to generation. Uh, and it, 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 as we're filming this, um, this is the time period where you have all the, these hate mongers. Uh, uh, they just killed the... Somebody just killed a doctor at the abortion clinic. Um, the gentleman walked in and killed a guard at the Holocaust uh, place. Mm -hmm. There was an incident in Philadelphia. So all this is going on. And if you remember the predictions that I made in a newsletter that I wrote uh, maybe four or five months ago, um, what happened is some kind of way, some of the people went into fear. They couldn't deal with the change. And they got fearful and they reversed the whole process. It's like mm -hmm. all this way that we've came, it's like freeze. Yeah, too and, much. And they that. went right back and as as soon as um we're gonna we're gonna talk about downtown and the election. So so it seems like that after the celebration <coughs> it was like we wasn't a time warp. Things went backwards. <coughs> Within days. Yeah, I think that a lot of that has to do with, um, you know, when you say that everything's mm -hmm. moving too fast, the fact that we have a black president now, a lot of people are very excited, and I am definitely one of them, you know, mm -hmm. dancing in the streets like everyone else. Yeah. But then there are those that are, are scared because yeah. they're thinking, um, you know, they look at where we've been mm -hmm. and, you know, where we're going, 
but now it feels like it's a reality and wait a minute we're moving a little too fast let's slow down let's take things back a notch and they're not too sure about what's happening next I had, so. I had some experience with some friends on the road um, I usually travel with metaphysical oriented people so race and things doesn't enter into the whole thing but then the minute I step out of my house I'm in the real world and I have to put on my feelers so they don't follow me in the store and say what are you doing in mm -hmm. my store you know that type of thing um, then, then after 9-11 I even looked a little Arabic and Walmart nailed me um, you know about who well, are you, where you go, huh? Well, speaking of Arabic, if I don't want to interrupt you, but I'm going to tell you, I don't know, I'm not going to um, say any names, but mm -hmm. um, do you remember the instance where, well, okay, David, <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to say, but remember the instance where he was in his car, he was in his RX-7, and he was driving by Fred Meyer, and someone thought he was Arabic and mm -hmm. threw a tomato at him. He called oh, the police. Really? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Someone hit him in the head with a tomato. Oh, I and it was really big for him because he called the police, <laughs> and the police were like, well, what are you complaining about, man? It's just a tomato. Um, but they but missed the point. The point was that they did it because they thought he was Arabic. Uh, he was driving his RX-7, and he got hit in the back of the head with oh, a tomato. And uh, he did. He called the police, and the police did. They kind of was like, well, what do you want me to do? It's a tomato, dude. Um, mm -hmm. But the point was that it was racially motivated. It was, And that yeah. uh, was over in uh, Lacey. By Fred Meyer. He yeah. was going to go to Europe here uh, a couple of years ago, and I actually didn't think it was a good time for him to get on an airplane because, mm -hmm. because of the way he looked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I know he's really got some prominent features, so mm -hmm. it, uh, yeah, another one of those world integrations. We've got yeah. all different types. And we got everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've got the Indians, we've got the Arabs, we've got, we've got, the, we've got, got ev everything we've except got that. Everything, yeah. <laughs> everything, yeah. Yeah. About, yeah. So, and uh, hey, that's exciting. I, 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 didn't, I didn't know. I thought you knew that. Yeah. Yeah. He, he yeah. told that story, and he was very, very shaken and upset about it. And you know, he still talks about. It. He's really serious about it. Um, but I mean, I can visualize it. But <laughs> yeah, we're not but, laugh. It, David, oh, excuse me, Dennis, if you're watching this, <laughs> we're not laughing at you. We think the whole situation is things. Right. That's what we think. Right. And, you know, and, and the hard part is that at that time, I believe it was the Lacey Police Department. Mm -hmm. The Lacey Police Department, you know, one of the officers came out and they was like, you know, it's a tomato. Quit <laughs> yeah. your wine in and move forward. Um, yeah. and, and that's, you know, that's one of the, the stigmas of, of just being any, anyone on the outside. When Claudia, uh, you know Claudia. When Claudia and her children was here, they, they spoke very little English, and the children wanted to go for a walk. And uh, they, we're going to fast forward here in a minute. Anyway, they wanted to go for a walk. Their English was very limited. All the regular kids was in school, uh, you know, but they came from Europe, so they, so they wasn't in school. And I told these children, if you are approached by the police, just show your hands up. <laughs> and what we had done... Uh, we had done, I had put a note in their, in their pocket, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in their pocket, uh, explaining who they were and everything. And I said, so just throw your hands up and then you tell the officer to look in. I said, this is in English, look in my pocket. Because if we reach for your pocket, you're going to have a problem. Mm -hmm. one, one of the children, we were sound asleep, we were sound asleep and the police came. And they wanted to know who called who, who called them, and I, we said who called nine one one. Well, we nobody. But what had happened? One of the children wanted to call home, mm -hmm. and the prefix had a nine one one in it, so the police came. It's yes, yeah, four uh, four one one. Four one one. But right. So they dial nine one one. And then the town prefix was nine one one. So mm -hmm. so of course you know. So they kind of knew they were in town, but we thought it was dangerous for them to walk on in the daytime. Mm -hmm. um, because they wasn't in school, but it, it might be hard to understand, but we have to think like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, you have to, you have to be aware of uh, the way you approach people, the things that you say, the way that you carry yourself. Um, it's not because of who you are or where you've been or what's happening. It's just... Like I said, everyone's kind of caught up in this whole generational gap. We have a lot of people that are very supportive of, of all races. You know, yeah. no, we're not just talking, um, we're not just talking. We're talking about people of color. Period. We're talking about people of color. Period. period. Anywhere. Yeah. Um, and you know, it's more, it's more about what is expected, and you know what past. Hey, I found a picture. Past that stuff is expected. Found a picture that illustrates that really good. 
lot of people of color. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. Cool. And there are, I mean, there are, there are a lot, lot of them. Okay, now forward, please.